Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about you as a dungeon master, and your global, um, and what you have to say about your game on Monday. All right, so if you run your game on Sunday night, what do you have to say about your game on Monday, and who are you saying it to? And what I want to discuss is, what if you want to talk about that game on, on a global platform on Monday morning? What gives you the right to talk about the games you're playing in? How, what are the restrictions for the games you're playing in? And who can silence you? Who can silence you? All right, okay. So so the reason why we're going to talk about this is a young woman in Britain, all right? So in the link below, there's a young woman in Britain. I've been listening to her for about a month. She's absolutely brilliant. And what's interesting is, you know, and actually, you know, to tell the truth, yeah, she's very smart and very intriguing, right? But the biggest thing I love about her channel is she's like, hey, I, I ate a sandwich on Tuesday. You're going to hear about it now. And the whole world is wrong. Uh, I'll tell you right now. I, Duns and Dragons has just put my life into a shape that I want for you. I want for everybody. It, it is, it, it sheds the absolute useless pablum of common sense. Because there, I want I want to tell you something now. Listen carefully common sense doesn't exist anymore. Our world is upside down. We have a fool president whose who cowardice has kept us on the the brink of World War III for a year. It's it's 2023 and America's going through duck and cover discussions again. Like it's 1953. There's, the common sense is gone. Right? And this, this young lady from Britain, right? She, she gets in her car and she does videos. And you know how I knew she was a she was a, a spirit animal for me? How I knew that we were on the same frequency? When she's like, oh, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, my camera just cut out because the heat in the car turned it off. You don't know how to fix that. I do, right? Because I've dealt with it, right? Right? And and, and I and you would have not have, you would not believe how many things I've learned from cutting videos in my in my car for eight years. This girl's doing it. And she's all, she's been doing it for not even one eighth of the amount of time I'm doing, and she's professional, right? Like she pays her bills with it. That's incredible, right? That's incredible. Um, and and so, but but she's saying, hey, I will not be silenced. I have something to say, and you're going to listen. The whole world, right? I'm a D and D commentator. Every single thought I have about D and D, you should listen. That's me. That's her. She's saying, I am a world to myself. You know why you should listen to every single thing I have to say to the world? Because I'm a human being and I'm special and I'm valuable and I will be heard and I will never be silenced. And guess and get this. So I go to my game on Sunday night and I, you know, and I run that game and I got a million things to say on Monday, but I have players and this is what and 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 this video that I'm showing you too, she's literally talking about ending friendships. I've already talked to you about that. And she's talking about it at a very deep level, right? So like she is she is solving every problem I have, not talking about D&D, but talking the same way I talk about D&D in this literally the same literally in the same position in like the same position in her car that I do every day, right? We are simpatico. We are doing the same thing, right? And what she's saying is shut it. Seal your flapping maw. I'm special. Every word that comes out of my mouth, everyone in the world should hear it. Right? And that's where I'm at. And guess what? Any D&D commentator who's worth their salt, they got a high confidence, high charisma, high intelligence, and they're like, you will listen. Why? Because I'm a human being and I contain worlds. My complexity, my, 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 my mental, my intellectual emotional and spiritual complexity is so high and so valuable you deserve to listen listen you i deserve for you to listen to every minute of it and that and i cannot tell you how different this is because i go to a table and i'm done on sunday night and on monday morning i like i got three topics i want to talk about right and everybody at my tables they're like oh i played in a game last night i'm not gonna say anything to anybody right and the whole world will say oh hey you you fool who cares what what sandwich you ate on tuesday and I was like, no, you're the fool. I want to know what sandwich you ate on Tuesday, right? Because the ramifications of it are higher than you thought, right? When you chose the Reuben over the BLT, there was meaning in that that told me more about you, told me about 
the people around you had told me about the world. And everybody else is like, no, no, everything's, everything's not important. Everything's just fun. Everything is nothing. No, everything is everything. That's the difference. And this girl gets it. She's like, everything is everything. And she's like, stop your day and listen to me. I ate a sandwich on Tuesday. Listen to me. And she's right. You're wrong. Now let's talk about silencing. Every single week I have done this, right? Somebody rolls up in the comments and says, you are delusional. You are insane. You are crazy. Now, first of all, I just want to give this warning again. If you want to get blocked from this channel, that's the fastest way to do it. Diagnose me without credentials. See how fast you get blocked. Right? You ever want to get blocked on a channel on this channel? All you got to do is just use any one of those three words. I'll block you so fast it'll make your shed spin. Okay? I'm, I'm not. T I'm not kidding around. Right? Understand that when you say delusional, when you say insane, when you say crazy, you are diagnosing without credentials, and I will shut you down so fast it will make your shed spin. I promise you. All right? I've said this before. I want it to be clear to everybody. I think I did it a week ago. Like somebody just used the word delusional. They're gone now. You ain't hearing from them again. They were posting five times a week. You know, like they're gone now. All right. Like, and I actually, I didn't even block them. I didn't need to. I was like, you, you need to get stepping, man. Like go, go find other content. But I will tell you right now, if you wanted that, just, I'm sorry to repeat this, but I get it all the time. And so, and the reason I'm in really inspired by this young British woman, right? And the reason why she will tell you flat out, she was like, she'll say flat out. I struggle with mental health issues. And then, and then you know the next words out of her mouth? You can go kick rocks. You ain't going to silence me because of it. Right? So, first of all, if you say I'm delusional, if you say I'm, in, I'm insane, if you say I'm crazy, first of all, those are repugnant, horrible words to use about any about anyone. And they really, they really say, what they really say is, it doesn't say anything about Scott Garibay. What it says about you is that you don't understand. You have no right to diagnose somebody if you don't have credentials. And and if you did have credentials, you certainly wouldn't be diagnosing somebody on YouTube. You'd be doing it on the couch. So every time those words are used, it just says, I'm a horrible monster person. That's the person you saying that is saying, I don't understand mental health. I don't understand mental health struggles. I don't respect people as human beings, right? And it's your attempt to silence me saying, Scott, your mental health isn't perfect. You don't have a right to speak. You can go kick rocks. That's what this girl is saying. She says in half her videos that she is very, very mentally struggling with multiple mental health issues. And you know what she says right after it? And you will not silence me because of it. Right? And you know why she's saying that? Because you are struggling with mental health issues. Right? So if so, everyone is. So you don't get to come in here saying, Scott, I think your mental health issues are worse than mine. You can go kick rocks. You can't silence me with it. And you can't silence her with it. Right? And so as a Dungeons & Dragons commentator, yes, I have absolutely have mental health issues that I struggle with. That doesn't mean I should be silenced on D&D or anything else. So the next time you roll up on anywhere, if you roll up on Twitter, if you roll up on YouTube, and you think you're going to use one of those three repugnant words, remember, they say about you, not me. They say about you, not her. Right? You ever use delusional insane, crazy, you are the monster. You are the monster. You are the one who is wrong. And your attempt to silence will not stop me, and it will not stop her. Thanks for you guys for this patience. I deal with this every week. I, it, a week never goes by without some fool rolling up in the comments and saying, you are delusional, you are insane, you are crazy. And you know why? Because you said something I don't agree with. <laughs> could check that noise and I have new courage and new inspiration from this from this young British woman who is like says in every video I struggle with mental issues and you will not silence me because of it amen chick like you are right amen you are I am inspired she is she's got it right she is bold she's intelligent she's empathic I think she's on a spiritual journey that's what it takes every single word that's my humble opinion Please consider like, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.